Take a deep breath. Tune into the beating of your heart. And awaken to a fresh perspective. Welcome to See More with Morsi, your go-to podcast for discovering a centered path for your purpose. And what's up? My name is Morsi, and I help entrepreneurs, leaders, and creatives just like you invite presence into your personal and professional life. A huge part of finding a centered path for your purpose is presence. But often on this journey, we get sidetracked by the shoulds of life, right? Where we should be right now, what we should have accomplished, having a house, a family, a thriving career. I can definitely say from myself and through talking to many people that we thought by 25 years old, we'd be married, have a house, have our life all together. And here I am, 30 years old, living with my mom, (laughs) solopreneur, building my business. Life doesn't exactly look like the way we had envisioned it in our minds, especially when we feel societal pressures, right? I can't tell you how many times people have asked me little things about my life that align with checking off the boxes of what society sees, right? And I found that within my own personal journey, I've experienced shame, right? I went from shame to embrace, embracing this. But before I was able to embrace this, I had to feel those feelings of shame. And and truly, I'm doing just fine. I'm doing just fine. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I am following my purpose. But I didn't fully recognize that before. Right. And it wasn't like I walked around like with my head down all the time. It was really one of those underlying feelings that did affect my actions and it did affect the way I viewed my world. And I share this and I share this story because I know I'm not the only one. I've I've shared this story once before on my podcast, right? I moved back home with my mom when I was 25 years old. I decided to shift gears in my career because I had a career awakening and a spiritual awakening. You know, I did my best to make it on my own side side hustle. I did Instacart. <laughs> I um, went to garage sales, found items, flipped them online. I mean, those were great experiences as entrepreneurs. As an entrepreneur, I cannot even, I wouldn't take it back. But things like that take time, right? When you start building your business, wanting to become your own boss, it really does take time. You have to be patient. So I needed to move back home to be in a space of feeling love and protection during this very rough time because this shit ain't easy, you know? It's just, it's not easy all the time. And so going through that on top of feeling these the shoulds of life you know, it definitely, it impacts our, our self-confidence, our feeling of self-worth. It, it impacts our adequacy in how we feel, right? Whether we feel adequate or inadequate. And I find it's important that we question those things every day so we don't unconsciously fall into the shoulds of life, right? It's easy to have a conversation with someone and say, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't like what society is has this pressure on me as an entrepreneur, a leader, creative, or whatever it is you might identify with. But having just that conversation isn't enough. It requires changing your story. It requires being aware of your mind and the thoughts and the story you told tell yourself. And that's what I had to do. I had to change the story that I was telling myself. I had this plan to, once I moved back home, to be home for only a year. And by a year, I would be able to live in my own apartment and, you know, be doing A, B, and C. 
But that did not happen, especially this all happened during the pandemic. So that didn't happen. But what I realized during that time was that it gave me the space that I needed to feel through deep-seated emotions that I'd held. For me, I found uh, it quite challenging um, to come online in many ways. Now it's quite easy, but before coming online and filming was pretty rough for me because I was dealing with my own insecurities with confidence and how I was being perceived online and what I was talking about. I mean, it takes courage to come online and speak about a spiritual awakening, at least for me right? I know some people, they're open books. They don't care. You know, that's awesome. That's something I had to work on. (laughs) And, you know, there was other things. And I knew that being a coach, uh, a meditation coach, uh, a spiritual teacher in many lights, you can't ask someone to do what you're not doing. And plus your work is far more powerful when you're actually doing it. You know, (laughs) that's a part of one of my values. You know, everything I share, it's what I do. It's what I do all the time. Peaceful pauses and observing the mind and being present with strong emotions. Those are all the things that I had to go through, but I needed to be home. I needed to be in a space where I didn't feel pressure to pay bills. But of course, right, with the shoulds of life, that doesn't take into account our unique paths, what we need in life. Not every entrepreneur is going to have a story like mine. You know, I get it. Not everyone has a parent where they can move back home with, right? But I say this, everything in life is a trade-off, right? Just because you see someone has something in one area of their life, it doesn't mean that their whole life is together, It's important to be non-judgmental in those aspects and recognize that everything comes with a trade-off. For me, I, I recognize that I can't say that someone's life is easier than mine or harder than mine, right? We all come on this planet. We have our own unique challenges that we're meant to overcome. The story was written for us. We're meant to overcome it. And when you start focusing on your own path, you focus on yourself, meditation, breath work, focusing on raising those vibrations, it's much easier to change your story, to catch that story and let go of the pressure of needing to be somewhere else, right? It, the human mind, it's constantly wanting and desiring, That's a part of the human nature. But it doesn't always have to be on. That part of the human experience doesn't have to be on. This is where your your spiritual practice comes in, where your self-awareness comes in, where that deep work comes in. Recognizing when there's this want and desire to be somewhere else all the time. It's quite helpful when it comes to overcoming uh, certain insecurities, right? Or wanting to reach another level. That's a huge part of building a business, of being a creator or a leader, right? We have a vision, we see it, and we of course want it to look different than it is right now, but it's finding a harmony and, and balance, a push and pull, a giving and receiving, resting and action, honoring the life's inevitable counterparts. So it's important to recognize when there's desire and when the desire is too overwhelming, when the desire no longer fits, when it's actually time to just be still and make peace with this moment. That's when you find it's easier to change the story. That's when you find it's easier to let go of being somewhere else. When I let go of being somewhere else, I started to see deeply how building a business isn't all just strategy and execution. While that is important, that's the logical aspect of building a business, it's also a mental, emotional, and spiritual journey. And that needs to be honored as well. That part of the journey was an inspiration for Seymour with Morsi an inspiration for my newsletter, The Enlightened Entrepreneur. It's to ensure that we are honoring 
that aspect of our journey so that we can continue to create, continue to build, continue to make the money that we need to survive in society, right? Make that money so that we can be financially independent again. <laughs> Speaking for me <laughs> and many of those who, who live with their parents too and, and see themselves eventually you know, having their own place, you have to honor those things so you can keep showing up every day. So you can learn to love the process, right? And in my newsletter, The Enlightened Entrepreneur, those are the messages I share. And along with that, I create guided meditations and breathwork practices to help you keep your vibration steady, right? Of course, we, we shift from uh, going up and down with our vibration, right? Some moments we feel sad. Some moments we, we feel happy and we feel good. We're excited about life. They move up and down, right? That's inevitable. It's a part of the human experience. But it's important to recognize that when you have this baseline for a high vibration, for a steady vibration, Whenever you reach a certain low, a feeling of shame, of guilt, of, of sadness, whatever those feelings are that you feel in your life, where you feel you should be somewhere else, when you have a certain baseline, it's easier to recover. It's easier to come back from that setback. I like to call these practices blissipline. <laughs> it's a form of discipline you have for honoring your vibration for honoring how you make peace with this moment. And so in The Enlightened Entrepreneur, I share these messages and topics that match directly with the guided meditation to help you honor that discipline. So you can be that individual that does not care about the shoulds of life, that does not care about what society has to say about where you should be, what you should have, what your relationships in your life should look like, what your bank account should look like what your career should look like, where you honor this moment and you make peace with this moment. So I encourage you to enroll, uh, to enroll, I always say this, to subscribe to The Enlightened Entrepreneur so you can find yourself in the space where you feel supported, right? My, my intention is to build a community, have, have conversations and, and discords and come together so that we can support each other. Community is important. We can't do this on our own. I can't build this podcast on my own, right? It requires people to watch. It requires conversation. So do come and subscribe to The Enlightened Entrepreneur. Throughout my journey of moving with my mom, changing my story, letting go of the pressure to be somewhere else, I eventually began to embrace this journey as sacred, right? Living with my mom wasn't just about me recognizing how to be a better entrepreneur, but also how to be a better daughter. I mean, we don't know how long we're going to be with our parents, you know? And I found that there was another purpose for me being back home. And a big part of that was being with my mom. A big part of that was learning how to communicate with my mom and, and heal our relationship. You know, our relationship with our parents aren't perfect, but I started to see that it was so important for me to express how I needed to be loved and supported because those were things we didn't fully had a conversation about. And I needed support for doing things like this, <laughs> for having that mindset of to keep going because there are so many lows, right? The, it's, it's, it's a very um, volatile, it can be volatile and it's important to learn how to just flow with it. And that requires support in some way. You know, we found ways to uh, communicate together where it's, whether it's chatting about tennis or, so or soccer, our favorite sports or practicing yoga together. You know, those little things, they helped us come together. And so it's important for you to embrace your journey as sacred. Wherever you are right now, it's sacred. It doesn't matter whether you think it's where you shouldn't be. If you're in this space, it's where you should be. And there's a lesson in it. 
a lesson that you're meant to learn, a lesson you're meant to take in. It's actually a gift from life, right? Where you are is your story. Where you are is what allows you to build character, tapping into your inner wisdom. It's the story that you tell your audience, your friends, your grandchildren. Embrace this journey as sacred and become aware of the shoulds of life. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Everything is unfolding as it should. You are doing far better than you think you are. Honor that. Honor your light each and every day and you'll fall in love with the process. You'll find that the journey and the destination are the same damn thing. Be here fully. Life is now. Life is now. My name is Morsi. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the Enlightened Entrepreneur. One-on-one sessions are open with me if you're interested. I'm sending you peace, love, wholeness.